Its film is 10 times larger than normal, and the projector magnifies it 400 times as it moves in a sideways rolling loop rather than the traditional vertical feed. And instead of the usual sprockets, registration pins retract as the film loads and then reach out to steady it as it rolls. A vacuum sucks the film to the aperture lens. This is how they keep the gigantic image perfectly steady. To make an IMAX projector, they bolt two prisms together and mount them on a part called the lower illumination module. The prisms and a mirror will reflect the projector's light to a similar part called the upper illumination module, which will relay the light to the lens. It's a fly's eye lens, a collection of mini lenses on one glass. Each will focus to a single point, ensuring an even distribution of light. A technician screws two fly's eye lenses together and then places them in a fixture to align the two halves. He switches on a light and places an alignment guide over the lenses. There are red and green filters on this guide and he brings them into focus. He adjusts them until the red and green lines merge. It means the two fly's eye lenses are now aligned. Next, they install the upper illumination module in the projector frame. And then they flip it. They remove the protective cap from the back. Then they attach it to the lower illumination module, which we saw assembled earlier. Here they bolt together the rotor support and motor. The rotor is this big wheel. It's the heart of the projector. It drives the film forward in that distinctive wave-like action. This piece, called a stator, will act as a guide for the film. He fits the aperture block on the front of the frame. Using a crane, they lower it onto the base. They screw in spacer bars and install the second projector assembly. These two assemblies will enable the system to run three-dimensional movies. Now it's time to position the main lens at the front of the projector. They remove the lens cap and it's time for the film. The film wave happens 24 times a second. We've slowed down this footage so you can see it all happen. The film of a test chart ripples in front of the aperture and then vacuums pull it down for a 24th of a second. This eliminates any shakiness in the projected image. Now we're showing it in real time. You get the picture. There's also nothing ordinary about the lamps the IMAX projector uses. They're very powerful, but they use the light very efficiently. And now it's time to enjoy the show.